that something has happened before the time of performance and the contractual obligations have fallen down. Um, in this regard, you are not the guilty party. It is what has happened to Clico. So the, the contract has broken down because Clico finds itself in a difficult situation where they cannot perform their obligations which they owe to you under the contract. So you are entitled to a remedy. Now, your ability to get something out of that misfortune obviously depends on certain other considerations <coughs> which may very well be of a political nature rather than a strictly legal nature because um, I came in towards the end of Mr. Skeet's presentation um, and he was touching on the point of government's obligations um, as promised to policyholders to deal with this um, misfortune because that is really what it is and um, as concerned policyholders conscientious policyholders not conscientious objectors because you're not objecting to anything, you're pursuing something. As conscientious policyholders, you have a right to hold the government to whatever um, promises that have been made. Um, at least you have an you have a right to force them to commit to the obligation which was made by at least giving you some indication of where we are going, what is the road ahead. Because as it is now, I don't think anybody knows where we are going. Um, Until you really find that, um, based on the assurances you've been given by the fall, by the late Prime Minister and the current Prime Minister, that your money is safe that you need to make the necessary noises um, so that you can get your funds back. And in fact, the Trinidadian and um, policyholders are having difficulty at the moment. Um, the, what the government has done is to offer them, uh, for those who hold the executive um, flexible premium on OT, uh, 75,000 Trinidad dollars, 50 dollars, and if you have holdings over that, then they will give you a bond. So we're going to issue a bond. They're going to issue a 20-year bond. Okay. Um, yeah, of course. Um, and that, was, that was what the organization said. So lot of you get it, there's some of us there who are almost there. And if you make it 20 years, we won't even survive. Um, they're given a 20-year bond with a zero coupon rate. What is what that is really? No insurance. Um, and then they say, what they said to, to these individuals is we will try and create a, a secondary market so that if you want to, if you want to, to take the bond and, and have it um, cash in cash, that there will be provision made for that. Unfortunately, if that was going to be done, it would be done at a deep discount. So if, if you have a 20 year bond and someone in the secondary market was going to give you cash at the end of the five years of the bond. There's no way they were giving you face value. So the policyholders there were concerned about that. The fact that one, they would be, these bonds are going to be deeply discounted. And secondly, there was the government had not the basis to pay interest on these funds. But we need to, we need five cooperators. We need to see, and then we need to look at a cadre of attorneys to represent us at the judicial management hearing. We need to meet every two months. Communication will be by email. If you have already emailed me your information, you do not need to give me that information this evening. If you've not communicated with me via email, I need to get that information this evening from you because that is the way that I will communicate. Um, I don't have time to be on the phone and call and let people if you do not have an email address, but your son or your daughter, your aunt, your niece, your neighbor 
has an email address, then use that as the means of communication because that is the means that we will use. And one of the things we're going to do is set up a website. I've already asked my colleague Omar to search for the domain name we want our money back dot com. I, I uh, we want our money back dot net has already been taken. What about dot bb? No, we can get rid of the dot bb thing. But if we don't have a choice, we will have to use the dot bb. But we're, we're seeking to use we want our money back dot com, and then we set up an email address. And so that you don't have to constantly be using my uh, personal email address and filling up my mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> you so I need you have to submit some names because the business of the the business of any organized institution is to prevent chaos. Yeah. So you don't want to confuse one thing for the other. So the registrar has um, a, um, a discretion to choose a name or to accept a name. You, they usually ask you to submit three names, you the thing. And it's a she, it's a he no. And he may take one of them, or he may take none, yeah. and then suggest one to you. So um, you submit your names in the normal scheme of things to the registrar, and then if they think, well, that name is appropriate, they will allow it. But it is, it is a matter of discretion for the registrar. 